Hello, I am Sentinus Prime, and here I will be unboxing and reviewing the Transformers Nano Metal Fix Series 1 box set. Now, before I get into the unboxing itself, I would like to thank my little brother for handing me this to unbox f for him. Now, for quick context, if you've seen some of my older videos, you would notice uh, a few videos that's uh, where I give where I give credit to my little brother for handing me these things to unbox for him, and then I hand him back the things because they're his and not mine. And we and I've done this for a few videos now, including the series two and three box sets of these nano transformer metal fake things J just for a quick context on that now getting into the unboxing itself we, of course we will be taking a look at the box itself not too bad i've already seen this before although i have although i do notice slight differences between this one and the two later ones. You see, unlike the two later ones where they've where they've sep where they've separated where they've like rearranged some of the figures so that the two so that two of them down here can be like the exclusive box set ones. And all that. I notice that here it doesn't really do that, and the nano figs themselves are box are packaged in slightly differently. It's the same number of uh, transformer statues, even though the Decepticons are clearly outmatched in this box set. But I just like to point that out. This is series one, the first of these. Nano figs, pretty neat. And here we, ha and of course we do get like the names Transformers, Nano figs, the Jada, the Jada, and the Autobot sub symbol, and 100% die cast. Be Very nice. You do get this window display for all these Nano figs, and already. I do see some familiar faces because sometimes they do re-release some of these figure some of these nano figs in later box sets. Very nice. Now looking at the top you do get transformers and the nano metal figs. On the bottom you do get your all your normal stuff that you just put on the bottom of your box. Your skin your skin codes, your I like the label codes and all your like little like warnings labels and like names and stuff trademarks and stuff Here we get the sides of the box the side has like the Transformers logos uh, nano metal figs and of course and 18 figures 18 fig figure what? Hold on it's an 18 pack. 18 or 18 or pack. There are a lot of weird words in this one. On the other side, you do get lots of. Okay, this is the side with the regular words. 18 figure collectors pack. There's just that. Here we here we get a look at the back of the box, and I would like to mention that it is slightly damaged, not because not because of what I previously mentioned, but I'm pretty sure it was like that when he got it. But we do get a look at the back. On the back, we do get 
your less interesting like labels and stuff warning labels and stuff and back here you do get a lot of the same stuff you would get in the later boxes even down to the exact same cutout cutouts and the exact same product shots and you do get like a list of all your nano metal figs that are going to be included in this box set very nice very nice indeed so there we get a good look at that and without further ado let's get unboxing like swing let's pull this out get the box out of the way pull this tray out now these trays are going to come with like this so like support the trip the plastic tray this basically gets like put like somewhere in the middle to support the tray the other two has came with these and we do get a look at this backdrop thing which is very standard uh transformers evergreen stuff very simple getting that stuff out of the way now we can unbox them all individually and compare and compare them to their later counterparts because yes there are a lot of familiar faces in here so starting off let's take a look at optimus prime do very nice do does look pretty cool with his ion blaster and all of the nice little details very nice, very standard stuff. Now, in later, in later box sets, we do get Optimus Prime, but we normally we do get this figure. But the weird thing about this is, in later boxes, we do get the this mold, but in different colors, such as the Nemesis Prime colors or even the Golden Lagoon colors. And as for the Optimus Prime colorations, we normally get him with the axe rather than the ion blaster. So it so it is nice to for to get an Optimus Prime with the ion blaster rather than the axe for once. So that's so that's cool. Next up is Bumblebee. Do get a very standard Bumblebee. I'm actually going to pull in a little closer. Do get your standard Bumblebee. As usual, all of the insignias and logos have been printed on nicely but everything else is a rather basic job very understandable and very okay now we have gotten bumblebee in the later packs i believe he, he, you get to see him in yeah you do get to see bumblebee you do get to see two more bumblebees in the later packs but one one of them is not Bumblebee. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, in one of the in one of those packs, they swap the colors, and you get Cliff Jumper and Red Bumblebee instead. Red Bumblebee being the one of those red guys you would get from one of the exclusive figures you would get from the Walmart exclusive pack but you do get that we have gotten a later bumblebee in the right colors but but 
it. But of course, it is nice to get him again in case my little brother loses some of his nano figs. We're gonna skip him because he's an interesting one. I'm really just gonna race through the ones I've already have seen before, such as Cliff Cliffy here. Now we have gotten this mold before, but not in the right colors. So it is nice. So not in the right colors. Like this was it was marketed as a Cliff Jumper, even though it's a Bumblebee mold in Cliff Jumper colors. But it is nice to get an actual Cliff Jumper. Very cool. Very nice. Oh, uh, let's take a look at this one. Sunstreaker. Very nice. You do get a nice bit of your black details and all that. Very nice. We did get this mold before. He was the other uh, exclusive to that uh, Walmart exclusive pack. As one of the gold... Gobot as one of the uh, Diaclone characters, not Gobot. But, we, but it is nice to actually get Sunstreaker in this pack. Very nice. As well as his brother, Sideswipe. Now, unlike some of the, unlike some of these later ones, this isn't one that I'm seen before. Very nice. Do you get a good look at side swipe? Here he is from the back. You do get some windshield details and then the shoulder cannon. Do you get a nice shiny metallic red. As well as some black and then a little bit of this white for his thighs. Very cool. Do get a little bit of an Autobot symbol right there. Very cool. Next up is Prowl. Prowl looking pretty good. Now I have got we have gotten him before. And of course there's Basically, no differences between the two. Aside, aside from, like, the little, like, impur impurities of this one. Because there are slight impurities with this one that my little brother has gotten before. But it is nice to get one with slightly less impurities. Next up is Ultra Magnus. And yes, we have gotten a Ultra Magnus before. And there, of course, are no differences between this one and the other one. But of course, here's how he looks from the back. I will say, he is a nice and hefty one. He's a nice and hefty fig figure. Very nice. Next up is Wheeljack. And you do get a lot of the familiar details of Wheeljack. Here he is from the back. Very cool. Now, again, we have gotten Wheeljack before, and of course, there's no differences whatsoever. Very cool. Next up is RC.
Very neat. She is. And yes, we have gotten her before. And again, there's no real differences, although I do notice that this one has slightly more impurities when compared to this one, especially with the face, with the faces. Like, this is the one I just unboxed, and this is the one that we've gotten before. Do notice that. And to finish up the Autobot side of things, let's take a look at some more of the figures that I haven't seen before. Yeah, let's take a look at the ones that we haven't seen before. The first of these would be Ironhide. Ironhide looking really cool. Do get that iconic windshield chest as well as his other features. Basic blocky features. Here he is from the back. Very simple. Very simple, yet very nice. And of course, you do get his Autobot symbol right there. On, like, his belly area. Very nice. Another one that we haven't yet to have gotten before would be Jazz. Very, looking very... Kind of derpy when when it comes to his head but everything else is looking all right here he is from the back of course not all of the details are picked out in all of it, in all of the colors but you do get a nicely pick you do get a decently picked out uh autobot symbol you see there it is it is harder to see because of the blue, but it is there. You do get a red trim right over here across the front bumper. You do get a little bit of these blue details over on his uh, front skirt areas. Very, very neat. And here we have Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime. Do he does look very neat? Of course, we do get the Autobot symbol nicely picked out. Here, here is how he looks from the back. Do get his red boots and his orange legs and the flame chest thing in his uh on the back. You do get his uh his yellow wing pack thing it's, it's very simple uh hot rod slash rodimus rodimus prime design very nice and that is our autobot selection and now let's go through the decepticons starting with the one we've gotten before once we gotten before that, that being of Megatron and Soundwave. Now here we got Megatron, which we have gotten before. And of course there are no differences. Here's how he looks from the back. Although he's still nice, still hefty, very cool. And here is the sound wave. Of course, we've gotten sound wave before, and we've also 
later on have gotten him in Sound Blaster and even Golden Lagoon colors. Of course, there are no differences, but here we get a good look at him from the backs, and you do get a lot of nice detailings. Very nice for a sound wave. Very cool. I am spotting a little less impurities when it comes to like the f the f cannon arm as far as the form goes but as far as like this cannon thing I am noticing like a little bit of like less blue in this area so like in some ways it's has less impurities and in some ways it has more it's more apparent on this side where you get to see the silver on the gun through that blue the thin layer blue I do notice that this is the older one by the way so you, so you do get those now let's look at the seekers and the seekers are actually more interesting because where later on we do get these seeker designs. We don't get Thundercracker nor Skywarp later on. So here I didn't get all the seekers, but I did get some of them. The, here they are. Now, if you would notice that the Seekers normally come in two different molds. One in this standing, like, f fists on hips kind of pose. And you get this other one where it's like the Seeker, like, launching from its uh, flat space, from its uh, base kind of pose. Very nice. Here we have Thundercracker. Very nice. Here he is from the back. Very clean. Very clean kibble wise. You, of course, you, with all these seekers, you do get the little nub null rays. And here we have Skywarp next to Redwing. Do get all the details picked out and all that. Here's how he looks from the back. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You do get his purple arms. Very cool. Very nice. And here, of course, we get... We got Starscream. Here's how he looks from the back. And here's how he looks from the front, and here he is compared to one of, to his later one. And the thing about this is there actually is a difference between the first series box set one and the later, one of the later ones. Because for this later one, you do actually get the cockpit area colored in. At least on this copy, this appears to be the case. Who knows, this might be like a factory like misprint or something. But it, but it, I do notice it. Very strange. And the thing is, the Skywarp and the Thundercracker both have their cockpits painted on. So it's just Starscream. That gets a no cockpit uh, or non painted variation. Very strange. But it also makes it more dis distinguishable in that sort of sense. And last but most certainly not least, get that out of the way. Here we have Shockwave. The one new mold we get, or, well, compared to the other ones that I've previously uh, have unboxed. 
very nice, very nice to get him in this, like, action pose that's kind of similar to Soundwave's action pose. Here's how he looks from the back. Very nice, very purple. Do get a good bit of details. You do get the little cord on his arm depicted here. Very nice. You do get the, his little gun arm as well as fists. Now the like details on his chest, the big visor thing on his chest has been picked out in silver as well as his silver thighs. They're not painted on this side, but they're painted on these two sides. And, of course, you do get his Cyclops eye painted right there. Very cool. Very neat. And, of course, they're all made of this nice die cast. Nice and sturdy. Very cool. Very neat. To get all these little figurines. Again, very Autobot heavy this time. And unfortunately, unlike the uh, later waves, you don't actually get like any Beast Wars characters packaged in alongside these guys. So... You really just got like a fleet of Autobots and like a handful of Decepticons. But that's fine. We do get some re nicely appreciated recolors as well as some new Autobots that we've got that we haven't gotten before. Very nice. Now, of course, these we have used these in like games and like uh board games and such as like chess and other things other like board games like they they make really nice game pieces yes my little brother definitely loves these little things and i think they're really cool too Now we have more Seekers and more Decepticons to add on to our ranks. And we do get a lot of duplicate Autobots here, but that's fine. Because we do get some repaints that are nicely appreciated. So, we do get that. Very nice. So, do I recommend these? I'd honestly say so if you're after, like, tra Transformer, like, game pieces. They're not a bad price. I believe they're still available. At least two of them are. And they're really, and they're really nice. Nicely, but they're very nice for what they are. Oh, and of course, you do get, like, some, some comparisons, of course. How can I forget? Here he is next to... Here they are next to the Hot Wheels car. Very... Fellow diecast thing. Again, they're very nice little figurines. Of some Transformer characters that... Are very nice. So I guess that'll be it for this one, for this video, for this unboxing and review. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to like and subscribe and maybe even comment if you want. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.